a large blue butterfly. Many butterflies within the blue family, properly known as the Lycaenidae, have symbiotic relationships with ants. The caterpillars have glands on their backs that excrete a sugar or protein rich liquid much loved by ants. The ants milk the caterpillars regularly and in return they guard them against predators and parasites. The largest of the blue butterflies found in the UK, unimaginatively named the large blue, went extinct in 1979 due to loss of habitat, but was successfully reintroduced in 1984 from Sweden and it survives to this day. Fascinatingly, the large blue has subverted its once mutualistic relationship with its host. The female butterfly lays eggs on wild thyme and after hatching for the first few days of life, the offspring feed upon the leaves like normal caterpillars. Then they do something unusual, dropping from the plant to the ground and there waiting patiently for a passing ant. They're hoping to encounter a red ant of the species Myrmica sabuleti. The caterpillar mimics the scent of an ant grub of this species, so that if a worker ant finds it, she'll pick it up and carry it back to her nest. There's a bee around here somewhere. Carefully placing the caterpillar in a brood chamber along with the other ant grubs. The ungrateful caterpillar then proceeds to munch her way through the ant brood. The worker ants, entirely unable to detect or prevent what is happening right under their noses, despite the butterfly larva soon growing much larger than any ant grub. The caterpillar remains within the ant nest until the following spring when it pupates. When the new butterfly emerges from its chrysalis, it must quickly climb from the ant nest before it can inflate its wings and fly off to repeat the cycle. Thank you.